already have their hands on Watch Dogs. You know, they probably have some connection somewhere. I know, like, Verizon from Walmarts are selling uh, or pretty much giving out a couple of um, a couple of copies early. I know, like, for the PS3 and the PX360, I've seen a couple of those uh, thrown out. Um, well, I heard a couple of those again thrown out by a variety of different uh, stores like Kmart and Walmart and Target, stuff like that. And, um, yeah, many people uh, are enjoying the game that I hear of. And the game, to me, honestly, I'm still excited for it. Now, I'm not as excited like I was last year for it, uh, just simply because last year we seen, like, a whole bunch of trailers who were so pumped up, and then pretty much, like, a month, like, two months before the game actually is planned to come out, uh, aside, you know, with the PS4, it got delayed till this year, you know, which is going to be next week. Uh, there's a lot of predictions why I got delayed. Ubisoft themselves said that, you know, they had to do some polishing up with the game. The game didn't look right to them. And I'm pretty much all up for a game getting delayed or whatnot, you know, get it at its full potential. The game at its best to, you know, the developer, uh, Ubisoft Montreal, uh, what they think is best for the, you know, Watch Dogs game or whatnot, you know. And uh, when they feel like they're ready, you know, released it. And many people predict that uh, uh, it may get overshadowed because GTA 5 was planning on coming around the corner or something like that. Or no, GTA 5 was still out. And when it went and Watch Dogs got released at that time, it may get overshadowed. So, uh, you know, GTA 5, I think, came out sometime in September. So me personally, I'm still very excited about it. Uh, it seems very interesting, something, uh, concept that, you know, that many people still do, um, they can relate to, I guess you could say, you know, cell phones, technology, uh, you know, technology is going, is pretty much changing the world day by day, week by week, year by year. So it's a very interesting concept. Uh, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a, I think I've seen the, um, IGN, I think it was a live stream with them doing some, um, mini games and stuff like that. You know, they have mini games within the game itself. Uh, you know, they did a little errand missions. They did some, uh, gameplay of him actually, uh, of the, uh, main character actually being stealth, stealthy. I, I think it, it looks all pretty much good. Uh, they were playing on a PS4. It, it still looks like a game that still will hold me up for a couple, you know, months. I'm still excited for it, but, uh, you know, and the hypeness has gone down a little bit for me, but I'm still getting the game day one. And, uh, yeah, so far it looks like a, uh, GTA mixed with the Assassin Creed style, uh, especially with the hacking material and stuff like that, uh, just uh, brings a whole new level of uh, uh, difference within the game. So I'm I'm still very excited to get the game uh, day one, and I just want to know what you guys uh, think about Watch Dogs. Are you getting the game, or you're not getting the game, or you're passing on the game? Uh, I just had a discussion with my friend today. You know, he's passing on the game because uh, I think. Mario Kart comes out this week, as I believe, like on the 30th or something. I think that's next week. No, that's just, that's next week. Uh, alongside with Watch Dogs, uh, Mario Kart 8 is coming out for the Wii U. Uh, a very big game for the Wii U and Nintendo owners out there. And uh, yeah, so that's something that many people can look out for too. You know, Mario Kart 8. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this discussion video. Are you excited about Watch Dogs? Are you getting it? Or you're not, let me know. Uh, KCB3, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.